All right, guys, we are back on track. Let's see where life takes us. Probably not to the exit. We got Cerberus, Junction him. He's going to learn Speed Junction. So now both Squall and Renault are going to have Speed Junction. We're still looking for somebody with uh, card key number three. It's been a while since I fought you guys. You guys were mini-bosses back at the prison, and now you're dead. The, the smug grin on Odin's face after he cuts them. That's just sweet. He knows they're dead. He's like... Ah, screws. We're gonna use those. Hopefully. I barely used them so far, but hopefully. Are we back on the ground floor? We are, okay. I gotta get back to Cerberus. Because I could have gone right in Cerberus, and I, I want to check it out. There's also, I think there's another door on the bottom floor that requires key three. Okay. Okay. So that's the main save point. All right, all right. No, I wanted to give that to Quistus. going around in a circle. I don't want to be, but navigating this place is kind of crazy. That's a bear mantis thing. Ooh, it's arrow. You know what that means. Four turns of draw. That was turn one. We're going to give them all to Renoa so she can actually cast things on things weak to air. should see a doctor about that gas. Ha ha! I'm sorry. Last turn. None of these things are dangerous. And now you're dead. Mm. 
now that we actually have stacks of arrow, I'm going to take them. Alright, remember, there's a stairwell there. That's got to lead somewhere. Oof. <sighs> to the left is the ice rink. From a map perspective, this doesn't make sense. On the bottom floor, the ice rink is to the left, but on the second floor, the ice rink is to the right. Ugh, just some consistency would be nice. We're going to go north through that or up that staircase. Okay, so I think Adea is through that door, or at least Cypher is. take some double. So... No idea? Well, now I'm just confused. I thought that save point... Okay, here's the elevator. Okay. Oh, so Cypher does remember...
Twistis is already out of space. That's ridiculous. Let's use these thunders. We got triple. I think Quistus has some rank ones. Thunders aren't going to do a whole lot of damage, but we do have triple cast on, so that it offsets it a little bit. We got one more limit break in there before we heal. There we go. There's Cypher out of the way. So that's it for Cypher. Doesn't seem like the sorceress really cared for much, much about him. Or maybe she was talking about us instead. Maybe we're the worthless child. I need to check out my magic situation. spells. See, it said not enough space. I assumed I had all the magic a person could carry, but 
It's just I had a uh, maximum number of them. I remember you. Let's have Quistus draw. Squall's gonna one-shot it. I guess that's fine. Let's have Quistus draw one more time. Sorry. Alright. I just saved. Why not save again? You can never save enough. How are we doing on health? We're okay. I would have been so mad if... Nice. If I came here first, if I didn't come here first and get that draw point, because I don't think you can come back here. How did Cypher get here before us? It's gotta be like a secret elevator or something. <clears throat> you gotta give it to Cypher, he's dedicated. This is apparently his dream. And he's not gonna give it up that easy. But he is severely downgraded. All of his... Did I just cast... No. He's severely downgraded. His uh, elemental spells are rank 1 now instead of rank 2. I can't draw from a day yet. Where's triple? There we go. Right. Triple Quistus. Triple Renoa. As Squall attack.
So I think we've got a pretty good rhythm going here. Triple, triple cast is really good. It turns weak magic into strong magic. And we can just chip Cypher down until we get to the Sorceress. All right, Cypher is out of the way, giving us a clear shot to the Sorceress. Maelstrom. I'm going to have to heal... Yeah, I'm going to have to heal with Quistus. No! Whatever. And we get Alexander. Another GF. We're just racking those up now. Demi, again, I come to a boss that would have, has good magic. Ooh, so Asuna took away triple, or triple wore off. Interesting. I'll need to reapply that. So as I was saying, I would love to draw Demi from Adea. But I just don't. I have all the time in the world, but I just don't have the patience for it. This is a boss fight, and she's actually doing damage to me. I can't, I can't just waste time. I would waste heals, I would waste stacks of heals. She's got Reflect on, doesn't she? I'm not paying attention to the boss fight at all. That's how I lost Triple. Okay. This is fine. Someone has a dispel. Ooh. 
This is rough. I can't use a limit break while I'm cursed. Silent Squall, thank you, okay. We're gonna try to get a triple cast cure. Can you not? I feel like I just got that dispel off. Now I have to do it again. Do I have Reflect? I don't want to use Reflect because she's going to use Dispel. I was thinking I could reflect her elemental attacks back at her, but if she's just casting Dispel like that... It's not going to do anything for us. Okay. Nice. That dog has been so good for us. I'm going to try to get a limit break from Renoa off before I heal her. This is a new one. Oh, the suplex. Wow! Good job, Angelo. Angelo putting in work. But more importantly, Cypher's down and Renoa seems to be in a trance. Almost like that time she failed to put on the Odin bangle on Idea. Idea had her walk behind her in that sort of trance like state.
something happens between Renault and Cypher, and she passes out. And suddenly, Idea is back to normal. Ever since the conflict, Renoa has been unconscious. They won, but it came at a cost. They don't know why Renoa's unconscious. It just happened. Can I leave from, from the front gate? Supposedly we're parked. I assume outside the... Outside uh, the orphanage. We can, okay. I'm still cursed. I would have assumed that we would have gotten a heal that we would, have, we would have rested, but that is not the case. We did not rest. We did not get any free heals in this game. We gotta use our tents. Uh, first off, Squall... What did we get? We did not stock up on anything. So that's fine. And everyone else is fine. Uh, GF, Alexander, what do you do? Doubles the effect of medicine, so items are more effective. High magic refine. We can turn the auras into agas. Elemental defense times four. We can equip four different elemental defenses. Also, the Revive command. High Magic Refine is going to be the most useful for us. Does anyone not have Spirit Junction? So haste, haste looks like it's going to be, no, we're going to throw in Cura, but we're not ever going to use Cura. We're going to just use Cures, triple cast Cures. Those are good enough. Also, okay. up, Sid?
Well, Sid, even after uh, acquiescing to the order for us to assassinate his wife, still loved his wife, and he was hoping that this day would come when she would regain herself and be the kind person he knew her to be. It's still a little unbelievable. Someone who ruthlessly killed the president of Galvania, who ordered the assault, fired missiles at Travia Garden, can just suddenly stop being evil like this. Something has to be going on. She's been possessed. Sorceress Ultimacia. And this is where the game kind of jumps the shark, and I understand some people's criticism of the story. Ultimacia, a sorceress from the future, uh, is able to possess people in the past. Now, Edea willingly chose to allow herself to get possessed because Ultimacia was looking for a loan so that she could possess a loan. So Sorceress, Sorceress Adel was the leader of Esthar during the Sorceress War, the war between Galbadia and Esthar. Adel was evil. Sorceresses, when they die, their powers are transferred to someone else who's being born around that time of their death. Adea believes that Sorceress Adele is still alive somewhere and that Ultimacia is going to try to possess Adele instead. Uh, Adele is so much more powerful than Dea, and it's going to mean so much more trouble if that actually comes to pass. So, this is the first time in their journey where... No, that's not true. This is the second time, I believe, that Squall is facing the idea of loss. The first was with Cypher. That turned out not to be true. But this time, he sees Renoa cold and unconscious, almost dead, in a death-like state. He doesn't know what to do, and he's feeling things... He's never felt before. Insert joke about growing hair in places he's never had hair before. Ha ha ha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yuck, 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 yuck. He's still the leader, though. He. Everyone's trying to tell him he can't let his personal feelings dictate what he does. But right now, the only thing he can think about is Renoa. See, in a text box, people are talking behind him, 
But Squall, everything he's thinking about is Renoa. He's barely even registering what Ultimacia is up to. And they're explaining the ultimate go goal, the final boss. She wants to cause time compression. She wants to send her consciousness, use Alone's power to send her own consciousness back to possibly the first sorceress and somehow merge, do that and merge all the timelines so that she, the sorceress Ultimacia, has the power of all of the sorceresses throughout time. Somehow. Makes perfect sense. But even as everyone's talking about how how dire things are, how dangerous things are getting, Squall just thinks about Renoa. So our main objective right now is to find the White Seed Ship. It's the last place we've seen alone. They came uh, to our garden and they picked up a loan from us. So now we got to go and make sure they're okay. Now I believe the White Seed Ship is somewhere in here. Of course, navigating this place is just a mess. I can't really go up the rocks. Maybe I was wrong. If you talk to people around Balam Garden, they uh, tell you the White Seed Ship likes to park uh, in little coves. So like between landmarks. Ah, oh, jeez. I remember watching a speed run at some point, and they found it really, really fast. I believe that dome-like forest is a chocobo forest. The White Seed Ship is going to be in a place of where the water sort of cuts into land. Mm. It's going to be one of those days where I know what to look for, I just can't find it. I 
I know it's not far from a Deus orphanage. I'm gonna circle around the continent here. This island to my right, that'll be important later. It's going to be one of those occasions where if someone ends up watching this, the 12 people that ends up watching this, each and every one of them are going to know exactly where the White Seed ship is, and they're going to be screaming you passed it, or it's over there. Why won't he look over there? And I'm not going to have an answer. I'm just dumb. And I should have looked it up beforehand. Once again, enjoy the cool and calming tones of the overworld map. I think I see where it might be. I'll still look around this continent, though. I just have memories of the seed ship being around these colored rocks on the water. Obviously, it's a ship.
Yes, I am actually looking this up. I'm sorry. Don't give me a video, give me a map. Why is that map so small? Okay. This is not an accurate map. Am I even supposed to look for the White Seed ship? I think I jumped ahead of myself. I think that is where I just opened the menu, or where I just reboarded the ship. I think that is exactly where the White Seed ship is supposed to be. <laughs> but I haven't triggered it yet. So I'm gonna go try and visit Renoa one more time, and we're gonna see if that actually triggers the seed ship. Yeah, okay, here's a scene. Ah, they just spoke about the seed ship in the announcement Squall made. How was I supposed to... whatever. This is what I get for trying to rely on memory. And I feel like... okay, all right. This is the first time we get to choose who gets what. But your junctions are wrong. You took away my junctions. Why would you do that? That is so frustrating. They unjunctioned Selfie and Quistus. I'm sorry, I, I'm just mad about that in particular. I don't care about not seeing the White Seed ship, uh, getting events wrong, having to go back into my menu again and rejunction everything again after this. It's so frustrating. There's no, there is no reason for this, especially if they give me the option of assigning people specific to Kiros and Ward specifically. Anyway, anyway. <sighs> so 
So for some reason, as Laguna and Co., we have left... We've met up with Ward again. He was working at a janitor at the prison, if we remember. But we've left uh, the little town we were in. And we've, we're have working as a, a movie star of some sort. We don't know why. This doesn't even line up with Laguna's dream. He was going to be a writer, a journalist. And after that, he had a nice life for him in that town. We don't know why is he doing this. We're gonna fight a dragon. Kiros and Ward have dressed up as a dragon, and oh crap, that's a real dragon. And similar to the uh, punching game with Squall and that Galvadian soldier, when we are hanging from a tightrope on the flying machine, we're gonna have to mash the attack button. Everyone's just piecing out. And the fact that Laguna is using a gum laid is a little important. We're just going to mash attack and see where that gets us. Seems to be going okay. Never mind. And we're we're going more. Taking a hit or there, two there. It's not bad. The power of mashing will see us through. Who needs to defend? Not me. Just mash that attack. There we go. Now let's get out of here. Uh oh. Got dragons to our left, dragons to our right. We didn't actually junction Kiros and Ward here. Uh, hold on a second. Man, I don't remember at all. I know Quistus had Diablos, Leviathan, Tonberry? Cerberus? And Shiva? If we had any blizzards, it, a red dragon might be weak to water. I'm just going to take elemental off. That'll do.
We definitely do not want Fyra. Okay. I think we're still on 15. All right, let's get back to it. We got a dragon to fight. I definitely want some Fyras to max me back out. I don't think we care about Arrow or Fyra, so we can just fight. I think Arrow and Fyra for reward is good. We can scan it with Laguna. It's resistant to death. If it's weak to water, then Ward can start casting water. If it's weak to Blizzard, then just deal with it. Cast Reflect on itself. Doesn't seem like it's weak to anything, so... If it was weak to something, I wasn't paying attention. Wow, that was not a whole lot of damage at all. I wonder if Kiro... No, I don't think Kiros does have fire resistance equipped. I'll go back to uh, drawing arrow with Kiros. I wouldn't mind if the dragon hit Kiros a little more, so we can get the limit break. I've also never seen Ward's limit break. I don't know if the Ruby Dragon has Reflect up already, or if he's just innately reflect reflecting. I'm a little scared to ever cast magic right now. <clears throat> Keep this up, and we may even see Laguna's Limit Break. I think we're just safe to just basic attack this guy down now. A little bit lower and we might be able to use limit breaks. In, f in fact...
That is so cool. That is the coolest limit break I have ever seen. We're just going to limit break this guy down. Because who wouldn't want to see Laguna's limit break again? It is... Awesome. We see this flowing object in the background. And this is, it's implied this is alone talking. And Laguna went to the orphanage to find alone. But because he did, Uncle Laguna wasn't able to be by Rain's side when she died. Rain wanted to show Laguna her newborn baby. She kept calling out for Laguna, so no matter what, I wanted Laguna to stay in the village. It's implied, never confirmed, that Laguna and Rain had a child together. Rain died, leaving a child orphaned. Laguna just might be Squall's father. I don't think it ever gets brought up again. But it would be fitting if that were the case. Because if you remember back in the first Laguna flashback, uh, he and Julia almost hooked up, but they were, were never able to be gay together. Julia went on to marry Renoa's father and give birth to Renoa, while Laguna presumably met Rain, and she gave birth to Squall. And now fate brought their children together. Just like Irving said, it's fate. And now Squall has the idea to go find alone. And she's should be on the White Seed ship.
And there it is. All right. We'll go a little farther. Now these seeds introduce themselves as Edea seeds. It was their mission to safeguard alone from Adea. So when we come in and say Adea told us about everything that we want to see alone, they really don't have any reason to tell us anything. They're only doing their job. They're doing the right thing. But we just can't leave it at that. Oh, it's Watts. Remember from the uh, Timber Owls? Or the Forest Owls, Renoa's group. So the forest owls really care for Renoa. They just gave Squall an earful. Not many people would probably do that. Only Renoa herself. I think we get something if we find all the issues of Timber Maniacs. We gotta find the leader of this group. Try pleading with him. Draw point. Holy. Now, Alexander and Holy are some of the only, I think maybe even the only two sources of actual pure holy damage magic. I think if you fight an undead and you cast cure on them, that is considered holy damage. But if you just want to damage a normal thing with holy, either Alexander or holy is your way to go. Okay. So they say we have no proof to give them that Adea actually sent us. So the only thing we can do is go back to Adea and get some proof. Hopefully she has something to give us. Hopefully I can remember where Adea's house is. There it is. All right. So next time we're going to go and see Adea and hopefully the people on the seed ship will uh, be a bit more accommodating. I'll see you guys next time.